we here at X-Play, we enjoy conformity. People being different just causes problems. You have to accommodate their needs and make sure to have a vegan option at your Golden Globes oh, party. So annoying. But that's why we firmly discourage any schismatic activities by anyone. Especially the uncooperative astronomical grouping in our next game, Rogue Galaxy. This is a story inscribed upon one such point of light. A story of heroes. Yeah, 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 I've heard that one before. Now where's my gigantic talking hologram cat? Now is the time to lay down our weapons! That's more like it. Rogue Galaxy is a brand new RPG adventure game that sounds like a Star Wars spin-off. Don't be ridiculous. And the story similarities don't help. See, a blonde-haired orphan kid from a desert planet sets off with a cast of lovable rogues to save the universe from an evil empire. Phew. At least they don't feature an effeminate android C-3PO ripoff. Oh, I can't believe how lucky we are! Okay, that's it. George Lucas should really consider filing a lawsuit, and so should all the people he stole from. Make sure you get it all on tape! The game's adventure begins when your hero, Jaster Rogue, gets an offer he can't refuse. Come to our ship, and we'll give you all kinds of sweet jokes. Of course, what kind of role-playing game would this be without sidekicks? In Rogue Galaxy, you pick up hangers-on with alarming frequency. There's your perky love interest. That was a close one. Your lovable scoundrel. So this is the guy. Your Native American bikini model. You keep goofing around, and I'm gonna pulverize you! And of course, this Scottish armadillo. Um, android... thing. Well now, aren't we the lucky ones? It's good to see that James Doohan is still getting work, despite being dead. No kidding! For the first few hours, this game has a very cool Skies of Arcadia-style vibe. The environments are surprisingly detailed, and the handsome cutscenes remind us of Miyazaki films like Laputa and Howl's Moving Castle. Unfortunately, the honeymoon ends quickly. This isn't good! Uninspired dungeons are the game's biggest offender. These ugly corridors are so dull and repetitive, you'd think they were randomly generated. But believe it or not, they're premeditated. This really sucks. The other buzzkill is the dumbed-down combat system. Most of the fights can be passed by hacking and slashing your enemies to pieces. Those guys were no challenge at all. Yeah, that's the problem. Man, that caught me by surprise. The script is alternately charming and infuriating. One minute, you have smart, realistic dialogue, Hang on just a little longer, G.A. We'll go get something to eat soon, okay? And the next minute, you get this. Eee! OMG, scary! You know, the day acronyms like OMG replace actual words, the apocalypse is close at hand. And what's up with the mid-80s valley girl archetype? Yeah, that's a timely caricature. It's so totally lame. This RPG came from the developers of Dragon Quest VIII and Dark Cloud and by no means does it live up to those gems. If only the gameplay was as good as the appealing visuals, we might be looking at the next big role-playing franchise. Sadly, it isn't, and we aren't. Rogue Galaxy gets three Scottish armadillo creatures. Well, knock me down dead with a feather duster. Out of fun. Catch an all-new X-Play, weeknights at 8, only on G4.